movieweb.com. When did you start smoking? Recently. You, know, you probably shouldn't be doing it at a gas station. That's an old wives' tale, Marshall. You just pretend like you fit in and you'll be fine. What kind of dragon do I have to slay to get a drink around these parts? What are you doing here? You can't be here. Who are you? I'm Sam. Big Sam. You're far slighter than I imagined. Looks like Zoe's telling you some tall tales, then. <laughs> <laughs> what is the occasion, by the way? Zoe and I get married on Sunday. Really? And it's my birthday! I really enjoyed the movie. Thank you. Yeah, That's so cool. A lot. And I actually was reading something uh, where you said, Max, that you felt the movie was a coming-of-age story in reverse. Yeah. Can you talk about it a little bit, what you meant by that? You know, I think the main character, you know, starts off the movie really believing that he's, you know, an adult, you know, and, and in actuality he's, you know, incredibly stunted and, uh, you know, takes sort of the uh, trial by fire throughout the movie for him to realize that in the end he is just kind of a kid and he, you know, doesn't know as much as he thinks he does about the world and the way it works and heartbreak and suffering and all those kinds of things. Yeah. And you actually uh, base part of the script on some characters that you knew in your own life or what was... Uh, yeah, you know, it's, I, I write best from a personal standpoint and you know, I think the movie is, is probably awkwardly personal for me and probably Michael too and you know, I, I think that's maybe why, you know, parts of it probably feel real and sort of uncomfortable is just because I was really pulling from stuff that I knew. Is there a little bit of you and Sam or... Unfortunately, or so I to tried to be, uh, I tried to uh, run from that notion, but then as we I'm surprised would be on... you didn't wear your orange suit today. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> My mustache is in the car. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we, um, you know, on set it was very awkward because you know, everyone would come up to me, the director, when I'm, I'm, you know, battling enough with my age to have people try to take me seriously and keep calling me Sam, and people would call you Max, and yeah. so I, eventually it was just like, shit. I well, so. and Michael, I want to ask you about your yeah. uh, role, because um, correct me if I'm wrong, I know you've worked with actor Sam Rockwell a couple of times. Yeah, that's right. And it seemed to me like there was a little of Rockwell in the performance you were giving. Really? Is that, yeah, it seemed like you were, you were channeling him a little bit. Is that accurate, not accurate? Did you use a little of him for the character? As Sam's an amazing actor. Um, I probably am influenced in by him in some way, but not not to my knowledge. I don't know. I actually, I, 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 maybe it's due to the suit and the weird hair and the kind of you know the delusions of grandeur. But I, I always thought that uh, the character was uh, very similar to Rupert Pupkin in uh, King of Comedy. The, yeah, uh, exactly. You know, the amazing Scorsese so movie. Mustache, was that your choice? No, the actual the mustache was written into the movie. Um, but it was uh, kind of that was a last minute decision to actually go with the mustache, right? One of the, remember I yeah well we didn't know if it was, it was a fake mustache because right. we didn't shoot in order so we didn't know if it would look good but yeah I always saw you as a Rupert Pupkin yeah yeah interesting interesting and can you talk a little bit about um, his relationship with Zoe uh, he sort of becomes consumed with her sort of consumes his yeah. life in a way right I mean absolutely he's he's completely you know whatever you want to call it infatuated and lust and love but he's he's definitely to the point where. You know, in his mind, at least, there is no law for the love that he has for her, and he'll go to whatever means necessary to, to actually allow her to, you know, convince her in a way that she feels the same way for him. Mm -hmm. um, because I do think there is a, you know, she is as reckless as him, and probably is as, you know, I, you know, ideally as as kind of romantic as he is. But um, you know, there's consequences and circumstances mm -hmm. and realities that he just doesn't adhere to at all. And he kind of ends up using his friend Marshall, kind of gets him wrapped up in this whole sort of plot. Yeah, he tricks his best friend into believing that they're going on a vacation when in reality his sole purpose is to break up the wedding of this older woman. Mm -hmm. And that sort of tests his relationship, his friendship with Marshall as well. Yeah, I, I, you could say that the movie's just as much of a coming, of, uh, just as much of a love story between him and his best friend. The coming of love story. The coming of love. love. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one, actually. Well, and then finally, I wanted to ask you, Max. Um, I know that uh, I've read somewhere that um, you had an unexpected moment shooting the scene between Sam and Teddy at the end of the film, mm -hmm. and that that really ended up being a. a, a scene that's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, you know, we shot again shooting a scene with that. You know, shooting a movie with so many weird, you know, exteriors. You know, in New York and. Um, it's crazy to do in November, obviously, and, uh, you know, we would have to shoot a lot of things out of order and things we didn't even know we were shooting, so, you know, ten minutes before we're supposed to shoot something, we're supposed to, we're told we have to shoot one of the most emotional scenes in the movie, which is the scene between, um, Michael's character and Jake Johnson's character, and I didn't know how it was going to turn out, because we didn't even have any time to rehearse, we just had to roll really quick, 
and it, it, I think it lended itself to such an incredible emotional moment between the two guys. Um, and it really became sort of like a, one of my favorite parts and probably one of the most important parts for your character in the movie because mm -hmm. you know, the advice that's being given to you is actually good. Mm -hmm. Sam, stop standing on your toes. I like you the way you are. 